everyone and welcome to this show and the first ever late night show here on the channel and in this first episode we are going to talk about all the new cruise ships being released in 24 and 25. Uh, I hope that you had a good week, uh, I hope that you relaxed, uh, I'm gonna pour myself a drink for tonight. It's actually a Jim Bean Black Sherry Cocktail. Quite nice, uh, kind of like Sherry Coke, but with some whiskey in it, I guess, or bourbon. Quite nice. So uh, let me start off uh, by saying that we are going to look at, talk about uh, all the new ships uh, from the bigger company, obviously, that's coming out this year and the next year as well. Unfortunately, there are no more new class of ships being ordered. We've seen everything now from all the companies. This year we got new, two new releases. First of all, the Icon of the Seas from Royal Caribbean, obviously, which to me was kind of a very good surprise. You see, when I first saw the pictures or in concept art from Icon of the Seas, I felt kind of like I wouldn't like it for some reason. And I thought that it was, I mean, obviously very close to the Oasis class, which are obviously very, very nice ships. But with Icon, it kind of looked before that like they were only kind of trying to get to, to families with children because they dedicated this whole area called Surfside uh, for only families and kids and there were so many splash zones and so on but when we actually got to see the ship I, I was so blown away to be honest I think that Icon uh, and the Icon class of ships is is by far the best I've seen in years. Uh, unfortunately, they're quite expensive if you haven't heard or seen that one yet. And they're also upcharging a lot of things that is normally included on, on other cruises. So um, a cruise with the Icon of the Seas is not going to be anywhere near cheap at all, unfortunately. Uh, however, I am very excited about the ship and it just looks stunning from what we've seen from all the ship tours and, and vlogs and everything that I've been watching. So really, really excited for Royal Caribbean's new class. We also saw Princess releasing their new Sphere class of ships with Sun Princess just like a month ago. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I made a reaction video to the ship tour that Princess put out uh, and you can go watch it here if you haven't seen it yet where I kind of react and tell you all my feelings that I had when I first saw it, what my initial thoughts are and unfortunately we have to go the other way from, from Icon in this particular reason because when I saw the you know, when I saw the pictures uh, and concept art, I was kind of worried with a few things, and especially the Piazza. Because on the Royal class ships, the older model that Princess had, uh, the Piazza is obviously like the heart of the whole ship where everything is happening. And it's so nice looking and the design and it's a vibrant place. And when I saw the concept art for the new Sun Princess, I thought to myself that, ah, this is just concept art, it's not going to look anything like this, because why would they design the piazza like just a round mall kind of, like, it looked terrible. But then when we actually got to see Sun Princess, it actually looked exactly like the concept art. And I was so disappointed. So Sun Princess, I mean, although there's a lot of things that I like, on Sun Princess and the restaurant looks amazing uh, but the ship itself and the design is not at all in my taste personally I mean obviously you might think differently and please do tell me in the comment section but from what I've seen so far on the Sun Princess I have not been impressed and I would say that the Royal class ships are much more nicer in my opinion uh, and still I mean they have a lot of new restaurants and, and I also said in my video about Sun Princess that I think that the restaurant concepts on Sun Princess is brilliant, probably some of the best one at sea to be honest, 
and I'm very excited to try Sun Princess myself one day. But when it comes to the ship itself, I would 100% choose to cruise with the little bit older Royal class ships. I have also my vlog series uh, from the uh, Enchanted Princess, uh, which is a ship that I completely fell in love with and I would love to cruise with it again. Uh, actually more than I think I would like to try the Sun Princess. Uh, however, I am always very curious about new ships, so uh, we'll see if I get the opportunity to try Sun Princess. Uh, thank you so much for watching, by the way. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you just found this by accident, my name is Frederick. The channel is called Ponyo and Pool Shark, and we do all sorts of travel related content from cruising to vlogs to travel guides city guides everything that i think is worthy of telling and showing off so uh, please uh, do all the usual things if you like what you're seeing and and uh, help us grow we have a great show obviously we are going to show pictures clips movies uh, from new ships and what we know of them and also talk about it so stay put cheers <laughs>I stated in the kind of intro we have now seen all the new classes of ships that there is there is even no company that even ordered a new class of ships unfortunately so there's nothing more really to look forward to and with my calculations being made we are not supposed to see a new class of ships until like earliest 28 or 29 I would say and I don't even know who's gonna be the next company to order a new class of ships I've been trying to think about that before making this show uh, which company I think is most likely to put out the new class of ships it's obviously not gonna be Royal or Princess because they released their new class of ships this year uh, and they also have a lot of sister ships coming out in the same class obviously uh, MSC released World Europa last year, they are releasing uh, at least two more ships in the same class uh, So that's pretty new as well, Norwegian obviously have their, is it called Viva class? Actually I have it written down, Prima class, sorry for that So their Prima class which hasn't been really that liked by the uh, audience uh, to be honest we're going to come back to that as well because we're going to talk about a new ship that's being delivered to them next year. Uh, also, we've seen who else, who else, who else? Um, well, Virgin is obviously not going to release any new ships anywhere soon. They are still building on their same uh, kind of base that they've released Resilient, Valiant, whatever it is. And um, I mean, who knows? But I haven't heard anything about them uh, being interested in releasing new classes of ships. Then we are left with what? Celebrity, they're still doing the last parts of their, I don't know the, the, the name of the ship class, but the Edge, um, I mean, they could be the ones actually releasing the next class of ships next time but Celebrity is not really a company that so far has been interested in making mega ships I'm not saying that you have to make a mega ship I mean we're gonna see a lot of new ships coming obviously this year however they're just gonna be sister ships to old um, but we're still gonna talk about it because there is a lot to say and some companies like for instance Disney uh, and Royal Caribbean by the way are changing a lot with their new type of ships uh, so their new sister ships and that's something that I really really like that you're not making like an exact copy of, of the previous ships that you change some restaurants change some venues maybe take some ideas that you had uh, and, and change it and that's always interesting because that kind of feels like a, a new kind of ship won't you agree uh, instead of just making the exact copies of your ship like for instance uh, we see Virgin did it like there's there's literally no difference between all their ships they're an exact copy I think that there's like a statue 
that's different <laughs> on all of them. And, and, and that's basically it. You wouldn't be able to tell if you're on board Resilient Lady or, or Scarlet Lady or whatever. They, they look exactly the same. And I think that's boring to tell you the truth. You can always change a little bit. So, uh, before we start talking about the first ship, uh, I'm going to say that there is one company that's actually releasing a new class of ship uh, next year. And it's actually Mine Schiff, which is TUI based. And it's actually Royal Caribbean that owns TUI uh, cruises. However, they, they are operating only in Germany for the German crowds. So it kind of doesn't feel like it's worth talking too much about uh, because most of you people will probably not try them but the new class of ship um, looks quite interesting to be honest from what we've seen uh, it's called the uh, mine ship relax previously they only had numbers on their ship and they have up to I think seven so they have one two three four five six and seven mine ship which is my ship obviously translated um, and then a number and now they're gonna try something new and it's called relax and um, we can see some cool things and, and, and the pictures actually look quite interesting um, let's have a look at what we have so far Nice pictures and concept art here from two cruises and their new class of ships. And that is the only class of ships that we can expect in the near future at least. However, we're going to talk about three new ships especially that's coming out this year and next year. We are going to start talking about Norwegian Aqua which is coming out next year. And it is, although being very similar to the older um, ships and their sister ships in the Viva class, uh, however, they have decided instead of the go-kart track on top to make a water roller coaster. They're calling it a aqua slider and it looks amazing to tell you the truth. Um, I would actually much more prefer this one than the go-kart track. I mean obviously go-kart is, is really cool and, and it's been one of the highlights I guess on the Viva class of ships but this aqua roller coaster uh, in my own personal opinion <laughs> looks a hundred times better. However, that is kind of the only thing that is new uh, on this ship compared to the other ones. So it's obviously going to be very much like their sister ships. Um, and there's a lot of things to say about these class of ships. And, and let me tell you the truth. First of all, like I said also with Princess that I don't really like the Sun Princess, that I like the older royal class ships it's not because i'm nostalgic and i'm not like a 
what is a ship nerd in any way uh, that I always prefer the older ships because no 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 I really prefer new I really prefer innovative and all that things but they still have to look good with the Viva class ships of Norwegian though I am also gonna say that the older breakaway class is much more interesting in my opinion uh, first of all they are actually much bigger than the Viva class of ships so the breakaway class uh, holds more passengers you have more restaurant options actually uh, and there's just in my opinion so much more to do um, also there's been so much I think complaints from customers from enthusiasts uh, from from people in general about the new Viva class of ships we saw Ben and David uh, obviously I've seen all their videos and um, but not only them, most people actually talk about, first of all, the design, how it kind of doesn't look like a cruise ship, it's too modern. Another word that everyone more or less is using is that it's too bright and that it's actually like lamps and, and very bright everywhere, wherever you are. And that kind of takes away because I also like the more dark and loomy and cozy kind of places so um, yeah I can really see what people mean and also uh, the biggest thing that people are complaining about is the size of all the venues on board that they have made it too small so for instance the comedy club where there will be like a stand-up comedian uh, at night that they only have maybe 50 seats and, and <laughs> on a ship that obviously hosts over 3,000 passengers that everything on board fills up so quickly and that there's no room and I mean you can't do it like that that's that's obviously gonna come back biting your hand you have to make sure that all your guests have a relative good chance of seeing your shows uh, doing whatever they want and to me these ships don't really attract me although there are things with the Viva class that I do actually like uh, and that does actually look very interesting for instance the indulged food hall the, they were actually the first ones Norwegian to make kind of a food hall uh, on board a cruise ship now everyone is obviously doing it uh, we saw it on Icon we saw it on Sun Princess so but it is a brilliant concept because people actually need and want kind of street food, fast food and also that's a win-win because for the cruise ship industry it's not going to cost as much as sit-down dining obviously so let's say that I want to have a Derner kebab that's a win for the company because it's quite cheap to make and also I'm going to be very satisfied with it and what we saw with the indulged food hall on board Norwegian Viva class of ships is that it's very popular and it looks really good and, and you have all these selections you just sit down you order from a like iPad kind of thing and you get served by the table and you can choose whichever restaurant you want and then your company can choose another restaurant if they want and you can all sit together and enjoy whatever meal you're interested in so that that looks very very interesting they are however uh, releasing one new thing as well except for the roller aqua roller coaster slider kind of thing and that is something that they call the grid which is actually going to be a sport complex at day and then kind of a cool trendy outdoor nightclub at night and that actually looks quite interesting uh, is it enough for me to book no obviously not um, it would however be quite interesting to try this class of ships uh, to see if I agree with what everyone's saying or if I actually like the ships and the class a lot. Norwegian is a very interesting company in my opinion and the breakaway class of ships are some of the ships that I want to cruise with the most. Uh, I've looked into obviously Norwegian Escape which has more or less everything that I look for in a ship. Uh, it looks very interesting so I would actually prefer to go with a breakaway class probably than the new Viva class if I had the option and we'll see what will be my first Norwegian cruise 
in the future. Before we're going to leave Norwegian Cruise Line and their new Aqua ship, we are going to talk about something else that I really admire Norwegian for in the new Viva class of ships, and that is the cabins. I would say that, uh, I would actually go as far as to say that Norwegian's Viva class of ships has the nicest cabins that we've seen. And they really upgraded their cabins with the new class of ships, which I really also like that they put in so much more details in the design, the bathrooms, even if you're looking at an inside cabin, they look so great in my opinion and it looks stunning uh, with very chic, very modern, cool design and I love the colors, they're playing with turquoise, uh, blue and, and uh, very very nice, I'm very satisfied indeed. Also we did got the news which is something that's spanning over all of Norwegian that they will from I think September October or maybe it's actually next year however they are going to start selling solo cabins in all categories for solo travelers actually like myself because I am interested in in trying and cruise on my own like I said we have no new classes of ships to expect in any near future however in the next sit down late night show that we're going to make in a couple of weeks we are going to make the new class of ships ourselves with the help of artificial intelligence i will try and create my own dream kind of ship it, it, and it's still gonna be like it's not gonna flip out uh, it's still gonna be like a realistic kind of ship and we'll see what ai is willing to give us uh, when I tell it what I want. So uh, don't miss that one out. It's coming in just a couple of weeks and we are going to try and create the next kind of class of ships that we would really like to see and let AI design it for us. It's gonna be very interesting to see the results if I may say so myself. So stick around for that. Um, hit the bell button to make sure that you get notifications when that is coming as well. What is this progress? What is the good of all this progress onward and onward? We demand a halt. We demand a rest. The object of life is happy living. We will not have human life sacrificed for experiment. Next up to talk about is Disney Cruise Line, which released their Disney Wish last year uh, as their new class in the Triton class of ships. And to me, Disney Wish looks very, very good. And it has a lot of things, even for adults like myself, to enjoy. And now with the new Disney Treasure, they are changing some things here and there. Uh, always interesting to see. First of all, the first thing is that they have this aqua mouse uh, water coaster which is not going to be as cool as the new one on norwegian that's actually gonna it looks to be much more cooler on norwegian to tell you the truth but they are making a new version of the aqua mouse and it's going to be like from what we've seen some kind of pyramid sahara desert kind of adventure that you're going to be taking on uh, on with mickey and minnie obviously uh, looks quite interesting as well they are changing the star wars lounge and that is a bar that to me as being born 77 uh, growing up with star wars obviously is some of the coolest thing that they have on the disney wish and now they're taking it away but I am still excited because instead they are putting a bar uh, which is the Haunted Mansion Parlor. Uh, so they're making kind of a ghost bar uh, and that intrigues me so much. You see, in Sweden, in Gothenburg, we have an amusement park called Liseberg. You can actually go and see my video of Liseberg and the uh, theme park itself. They have a ghost hotel which is kind of a haunted house that you go into and they have actors that scares you uh, inside. Uh, it's kind of good, not really my thing. However, downstairs they have a ghost bar, which they have designed and made. So it, it looks like a bar, but it's haunted. And 
things are happening, like effects are happening while you're sitting there. Your table is moving and there's noises and, and the, you know, eyes of classic, like eyes of the paintings are looking at you and so on. But I really like this kind of concept. And I got so intrigued when I heard that they're um, building a haunted mansion parlor on board the new Disney treasure. I think that that's something so cool and I would love to try both the ships obviously. Well, let's see if that's possible in any future uh, and compare Disney Wish and Disney Treasure because I think that they will both be well, obviously Disney Wish is already here, but I think that they, they're unique ships in their own way. But I also like that they sisters, so they kept most of the things. They're, 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 they're like each other, but they changed some stuff so that when you've tried Disney Wish, you will actually like to try Disney Treasure as well. That's a good business deal in my opinion as well, because you're making your audience wanting more and saying like, well, we tried Disney Wish, but they have this restaurant on the Disney Treasure and I want to try that. So I think that that's very good, uh, a very good way of selling basically. Uh, so, so thumbs up to that and Disney. Um, there's so much on the Disney ships that I like. I'm only going to talk about, however, the new things that we're going to see. However, on the Disney Wish they have a frozen themed restaurant where you will have a show and a dinner and looking at Elsa and, and all the other Disney fro frozen kind of... On the Disney Treasure, however, they have a restaurant based off the uh, movie Coco. And it's gonna be a Mexican restaurant and that is very, very interesting because Mexican food can be amazing if you do it in the right way, obviously. Uh, so look forward to seeing more of this restaurant and see what the menus are like uh, but I'm really looking forward to a Mexican style of restaurant on board a new Disney Treasure. Disney Treasure will also have a kind of tiki style bar on board which is in remembrance of their Jungle Cruise, uh, well obviously now movie but their old ride at their Disney parks. Uh, so that's also something new on board to look forward to on the Disney Treasure. I'm so much looking forward to see the first kind of ship tours and see all these, the Haunted Mansion, the new Jungle Cruise themed bar and also the Mexican restaurant. Uh, I think that Disney Treasure is going to be quite different from the Disney Wish to be honest. Uh, with that, we're gonna leave Disney for now and talk about the last of the uh, Oasis class ships they're releasing. The last final ship is called Utopia of the Seas and we have a lot of changes coming with this ship and they're all very interesting. So that's why I kind of saved it to last. Final ship from the Oasis class Royal Caribbean is going out in style with their new Utopia of the Seas being released next year. They have made so many improvements of the ship, many new restaurants, bars, uh, so much interesting. We're gonna start off by talking about the Cantina Fresca, which is a new bar serving everything from pineapple jalapeno margaritas to smoky mezcals and a huge selection of Mexican beers. It just looks amazing from what we see uh, and hear. Um, Mexican beers, that's very interesting. I like when cruise ships go all in with beers and cocktails and make like a kind of special selection that's always interesting for a drinking interested guy like me. Oh, that's that's so wrong. A drink interested guy. Well, obviously I'm very interested in drinks and booze. Not just booze. Whatever. Secondly, we got to see the new Rumba, which is a tiki style bar serving obviously rum drinks mostly. It looks so nice. I like the tiki kind of uh, style that's really appealing to me. And this bar looks awesome to tell you the truth. Izumi uh, will now be a hibachi and sushi restaurant uh, in a new uh, cool place in Central Park and they're gonna offer some umakase inspired private dining which is paired with sake cocktails. 
so it looks very good and also being placed now in the Central Park uh, it's a new place which they actually have on the icon as well they will also have the Izumi in the park which is a takeaway place for their sushi there as well the next big thing and a completely new concept to Royal Caribbean is the Royal Railway Utopia Station. Uh, it's a dining experience inside a train which starts with pre-dinner drinks at the station and then uh, takes you on the platform on board a train where you'll be served a dinner. I think that this concept looks very cool, very interesting. I love this kind of innovative places uh, and I love when cruise uh, companies go all in uh, in the fight of becoming the best cruise ships in their innovations. Uh, but this is a kind of restaurant which I really, really like. Uh, so looking forward to that one as well. Next up, Royal Caribbean has decided to move Giovanni's Kitchen to a new uh, place where you will have the opportunity to eat al fresco on the balcony uh, in something that they call Geo's Terrace overlooking the boardwalk. I mean, this is so cool. You're actually going to be placed high up on the ship but out on a terrace so you can look down to the boardwalk. You'll actually be outside uh, dining Italian food. Wow, this is, this is so good to tell you the truth. Um, I think that they're taking all the right steps. Royal Caribbean is at the moment, I would say, back in the lead in my own opinion uh, with their cruise designs and uh, restaurants and bars and really cool things coming out of them the last couple of years now. Um, looking forward to seeing this ship in real next year, obviously. It's just gonna cruise though in the uh, USA. Uh, they don't have a date for it to come to Europe is probably gonna take like four or five years, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Did you think? Have you seen enough? Uh, is this a good kind of concept? Would you like to see more? I'm obviously going to do one more because we are going to do the one where we let uh, artificial intelligence create the next dream class of ships for us. Uh, but if you want me to make more kind of, what do you call this? Show? Show? I guess this is a show. Um, tell me in the comment section and I'll be happy to produce more material. We can actually talk about whatever we want in this kind of shows. It can be everything from new cruise ships to hotel prices to tips and tricks on traveling Europe with train. It can be exactly whatever. Uh, my main question is just if you're interested in seeing more material like this one. In this case, put it down in the comment section uh, and I'll be happy to make more of these kind of shows. If you are uh, still here, you've been watching the whole show, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Um, I hope that you like what you saw. See you next time. Uh, and in the end, never forget, it is not about the destination. It is what you make of it that counts. Stay. Yeah.